Hello everyone and welcome to another bold and heroic episode of Nintendo TV. Coming up this month, we're in pursuit of big game as we vie to bring down the biggest beasties at the Monster Hunter Community Day. We find out why the Wii U version of Need for Speed Most Wanted leaves all the pretenders eating dust. But before all that, epic adventuring awaits in Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Games like Fire Emblem Awakening divide people into two groups, hardcore fans already familiar with the series and those of us that are yet to experience the magic of strategic battle. Now, if you fall into the first group, you can sit back, pop your feet up and let our words wash over you. Otherwise, let Nintendo TV take you gently by the hand and guide you through one of the most exhilarating, entertaining RPGs on Nintendo 3DS. This isn't all about sword statistics and dice rolls. It might be a game of tactics, but every character has a layered, intriguing personality, and none more so than the hero of the story, Krom, who's charged with clearing the unholy force of the Risen from his fair land. Combat takes place on a grid, with a strict weapon hierarchy and limited movement points for each character. Fire Emblem Awakening also uses the fabled concept of permadeath, meaning that if you're reckless, your lovingly reared hero could get munched and become lost to you forever. If this all sounds too traumatic, there's a newcomer mode that disables this, but for sheer knuckle-gnawing tension, there's nothing to touch it. Whether you're new to the genre or a die-hard series fan, there's something here for you. It gets even more exciting when you consider the massive scope of the game. The story takes place over decades, so not only can you train up characters for actual real-life days, they can even get married and have children that will join your team. You won't win any parent awards by forcing your kids into battle, but it's an engaging twist that makes other RPGs feel lightweight, like they're written on the back of a cereal box. The only place you'll find such a sweeping, engrossing game is in the incredible Fire Emblem Awakening, which is out now and you can check out a free demo of the game on Nintendo eShop. What are you waiting for? Welcome to Update. First up, we've got the euphonic news that Harmonite has been released on Nintendo 3DS. This melodious rhythm em up game comes from the team responsible for the Pokemon games, and it follows hero Tempo as he travels through an irresistible cartoon world with his rabbit buddy Tappy. It's bright, bouncy, uplifting fun, and even if you're tone deaf like us, Harmonite's hits can't fail to reach all the right notes. If you like big old shiny cars racing around an amazing looking open world, then you need to check out Need for Speed Most Wanted You on Wii U. The game uses the Amazo high definition textures and is genuinely one of the best looking games on the console, but don't take our word for it. We spoke to the guys who made it. We came up with this whole idea of a co-driver, so two people having fun with one game in, in the same room, and that all came about from lots and lots of playing on Nintendo Land and that sort of fun that you have playing games together. And the other thing that we wanted to do is give the player more control over the experience, so make it more accessible, make it uh, more immediate, and allow people to play the game their own way. We wanted to have that accessible at their fingertips with the gamepad, which is this you know, amazing control device. You can see for yourself what all the fuss is about, because Need for Speed Most Wanted You is out now. And finally, LEGO City Undercover The Chase Begins is screeching towards Nintendo 3DS. This prequel to its bigger brother LEGO City Undercover on Wii U sees you in control of a younger, rookie version of Chase McCain, a world apart from the craggy, quip -lot hero we know from the original. Can a LEGO character be craggy? We're not sure we even care. The Chase Begins on April 26th. <laughs> This month we braved the elements and avoided getting chomped by a leviathan to head down to an amazing Street Pass event organised by Nintendo Mega Fans, the Nintendo Spot, and celebrate the release of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. The event was an amazing success and there was even some exclusive swag provided by Nintendo and Capcom as the hardened monster hunters got down to some serious questing. Hunters from far and wide came down to the event in South London to make new friends and trade tips on how to take down the serious monster hunter nasties. Hunting by yourself is perfectly fine and it's awesome but um, it, it's a whole new experience for other people. Events like this are a great opportunity to meet like-minded people that play the same sort of games. The game is awesome and you can get, get to meet fellow hunters and go and hunt and meet like-minded people and stuff. So yeah, we definitely need more events like this. Some gamers just have a 3DS and can't get a Wii U so they can't do the online play. So events like these would be great. See more of them, I would go to everyone. We spoke to the guys from the Nintendo Spot to find out more about the event and to try and convince them to set up more. 
I set up the event, um, found out people wanted to do it, and then um, I basically just reached out to Capcom and they, they sort of said, yeah, this is person to get in contact with. Spoke to Nintendo and everyone's been helpful. So far it's been, it's been great, it's been a great success. Uh, it's the biggest event we've done to date, so um, yeah, really happy with it. Lovely. Look out for more community events coming in the near future. Now it's time for a lightning quick run through of our Nintendo eShop essentials. First up, we've got adorable egg shaped adventures in the form of Toki Tori 2, which is as fun to say as it is to play. It's a cheery platformer bustling with whistling, jumping, stompy fun. But underneath that cute and feathery exterior lurks the clawed, razor beaked form of a puzzle raptor. If you like your head scratches with a touch of sweetness, Toki Tori 2 is out on the Nintendo eShop for Wii U now. Next, it's time for some classic gameplay with Dig Dug on Nintendo 3DS. The game is over 30 years old, but don't let that put you off, because it's just as much fun as ever and proof that classic arcade games that involve digging around in the dirt and inflating monsters never go out of fashion. And dashing into last place, we have Bit Trip Runner 2 on Wii U. This frantic side-scroller has you sprinting through five themed worlds without dying, which it turns out is far harder than it sounds, if that's not enough, and it absolutely should be. It's voiced by the mighty voice of Mario himself, Charles Martinet. Bit Trip Runner 2 is available on Nintendo eShop for Wii U now. Well, that's your lot for this episode, but please join us again next month for more from the amazing world of Nintendo.